my entire life. My dad was my coach growing up, uh, ran in high school, ran in college, ran professionally in some marathons. I mean, it's just it's what I've always done. It's what I know. You know, it's just part of the sport. It's an outdoor sport. It's a spring sport in Louisiana, so you kind of never know what you're going to get, and our coaches have to adjust. The athletes have to adjust. They've got to hydrate, and you know, we're fortunate that we've got a great training staff here with Oshner that can take care of our kids. It's all about uh, as much as you can do ahead of time. So once the events start, you know, it's all eyes on the course at all times. So as much work as we can do to uh, set up our stations to make sure we have all the appropriate equipment in the places that we need them, one, uh, making sure our hydration stations are squared away and easily accessible for any emergencies or any time of need. Uh, but then two, just uh, being available and, and communicative on what our assignments are for the day and make sure anything that can go wrong, we have a plan of action to prepare for it. What I enjoy most is the athletes uh, giving it their all the whole entire time. They've competed and they've uh, practiced for this their whole season. You only have one shot, so being able to run at state and then competing against other great athletes and seeing them going across the finish line, seeing them giving it their all the last two seconds or last three seconds can really make the difference. I used to run the 400, so especially watching the 400 and the 4x4 definitely makes me happy and excited for these athletes. I think the number one thing that I hear is thank you for being here. At these sort of events, the parents are looking at us like kind of like guardian angels. Like we're here to make sure that at the end of the day, their athlete walks out of here, which is the most important thing that we can provide. 